A good morning guys, Jamie from Inspired here. And I wanna to speak to you today about why do so many people in their first four weeks fail in any health and fitness journey? I'm gonna tell you three reasons why I think this may happen. Number one, people look too far ahead. People judge themselves on their end goal, i.e. I need to lose 25 pounds of fat. By doing this, you're setting yourself up to fail. That goal at this moment in time seems too far away. You need to set short term goals to meet your long term goal. For example, I need to lose one pound of body fat. Achieve it, tick it off. Next goal, two pounds of body fat. Achieve it, tick it off. This is how you get to your long term goal. Short term achievable goals will create positivity along the way. This is the key to success in the long term. Number two, changing too many bad habits at once. I see so many people in their first week change everything. Change their nutrition, they don't eat no bad food. They train five or six times a week when they're coming from not training at all. You're setting yourself up to fail because you're gonna find it too hard in that first initial period. The best thing you can do is change one to two things per week in your first month. Over the month, you've changed six to eight things. This is maintainable. It doesn't feel like a drastic change in your lifestyle. This will keep you in good stead for the long term and changing them bad habits on a permanent basis. Okay guys, number three, not being ready to embark on a health and fitness journey. I see so many people sign up, they pay their money, but they come into it with a negative mindset. Again, you're setting yourself up to fail. You don't believe you're going to achieve your end goal. You have to be ready to embrace nutrition changes, training changes, embrace a new lifestyle for the long term.